character now. Oh Christ, or, uh... Jed, our new hollows are great. Mm. It's a new um, art. Many, many, many textures got nuked, including some in the barracks. Snows Valus. I thought at first. End of knob. Okay, just a quick gentleman rule. Please don't enter the vehicles. You're not supposed to enter them. That's an oversight on my part. I'm an idiot. Mm. Well. Oh. Did it. They're, they're supposed to be sort of like backdrop scenery, so you could sort of feel. Okay, this is like a in like a vehicle lane. You know, GDI this is what it's like to be playing as infantry on a vehicle lane. So they're just supposed okay, to be back. Okay, I like this. Okay, so the mass and civic sensitivity has to go back to what it was before. Um... Oh, I, I, I really GDI like the current prototype. But, you know, attack. tiny tweaks needed still, Oof. but like in general, it's it's really getting there. Hmm. Still don't believe it fits DSR at all. Uh, it does feel weird. Play it, it on does. this map in particular a bit more with the amount of cover we have here. Oh my god, you killed the power What's gonna happen with these mechanics whenever they get ported to, say, the Enforcer or the Confessor? Yeah, that's where it gets really interesting because we can use it as a balancing mechanic. The Enforcer, for example, I can see as a weapon as a, a no recoil weapon, actually. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Rap, I, you should, I suggest you play the latest BFD. Yeah. Mm, it's, oh, no. yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Never. So if we you're, talked if you're about trying to the, go, like, uh, talk about gun physics and gun we mechanics about, and stuff. talked about, yeah, the uh, recoil stuff, we might try and fix it. Hmm. Okay, ultimately, the, the whole balance topic in the, the general gameplay is not really my area. Hmm, really? <laughs> yeah, wow, you're 118 on that now again. <laughs> uh, Mate, you're flip flopping, flip -flopping more than I'm fucking total no, 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 I'm AI. Trying to, listen, I'm trying to correct my... <laughs> Position on it um, it's to frequently. It's just that I, you know, I'm a human being. I have an opinion, and sometimes I also have a mouth. It, it, these things sort of just happen. There's no, there's, there's no problems with people having opinions on it. No, there's no, there's no opinions about that. No, there's no problem with opinions. <laughs> there's That's no fine. Opinion. There's no opinion here. Opinions should be illegal. Thank you very much. Yeah, we should have the Gestapo back to deal with this. Like a Gestapo on me. I don't really have an issue controlling this recall. Maybe I placed. I don't have an issue with controlling it. I just I like this. Don't like it for hmm. a DSR. I think this is missing half a component, really. Uh, currently, we don't have the new movement mechanics, uh, and that's yeah. be a big factor to how the gunplay feels. I don't think we can really 100% judge this on its own right now. But it's good to kind of get some initial previs going and some prototypes, and you know, play around with it. Really Any comments on the object right. density in the uh, infantry placement? Too much? Oh, too little? Nah, it's alright. I, I think like there's a little bit too much in the infantry. Hold on, I'm stuck. I, got, I get stuck in this spot. I have uh, to say, I really like the way this map looks, and I also like how tiny it is. Tiny maps are generally fun, they're, they're, they're intense. No, this is not going to launch, this is purely a test map, by the way. Oh, I nice. put the whole two days into this. Be nice uh, to polish it up, I think. Be nice. I mean, even if it's included in the packet, you don't have to run it on the server. Yeah, I was I was talking to Teamwork about this actually, and um, nice, like you know. look, actually actually playing with this map, it might it might be good further down the line to convert it into a um, uh, base defense map where basically you have to defend against waves of AI. Yeah, that would. I would it, I would prefer it to be a tutorial map because you have here's your here's your base, here's some vehicles, oh. get on it. Yeah, you can sort of get on with just not yeah. on a server map, but purely on learn to play map, sort of. But yeah. the, it would require a lot of extra scripting in the sense of. Of course it would. Yes. But it'd be nice to think about. I mean, that's, you know, even if it is, just ends up being. I mean, it's. I mean, you never know if people might just want to play a little bit of LAN or something. Who knows? This game still has LAN mode, don't it? Oh my god, when this guy is crouching, he's ice skating. Really? Guys. I thought we already played with these guys before. That they were changed. They they've been tweaked a bit again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what tweaked them literally five minutes ago. I see. That's why I asked for the rundown. What what has changed? That Vulcan uh, so gun these... sound sounds so weird. So on the proto rifle, the um, 
the spread has been tightened. Uh, the first shot mm. from every gun is always 100% accurate. Um, the recoil has been kind of made a bit sharper, um, but it's still roughly the same, just feels a bit punchier. Hmm. Uh, uh, the adjust angle, because it keeps pulling back from like way big angles. At least, at least I feel that way a little. Yeah, it, you lose accuracy when you jump now, but it's only a tiny bit. Uh, I guess this is the your department, Rob. Uh, I'm noticing a lot of lot popping on yep. the rocks. I, I, I spent this and I, I, I spent a grand total of two days on this map, and half of that was just messing with the AI scripts. Uh, it's a rush job. There's corners cut. However, these assets are ultimately going to be map ready assets. I just need to follow you tweak the lot headers. I have yeah, a question for I you, DG. I just, I just, like, wanted to note that, like. Yeah, you the lot this, levels really seem nice to all point. have like almost the same amount of polygons and they pop at like 5 meters. Yeah. So they should just not be lotted at all. The, uh, on their, their lot 0 polygon count is really high. Ooh, pistol time! For a rock, you know? Mm. I do, I do you like how the recoil like rifle you shall though. never shoot the inaccurate for and fear of hitting face. DG, I have a question to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> the tight channels. Uh, the trees, they are LOD, if you can see it. Uh, when you transition them from lot 0 to lot 1, the uh, the alpha tested branches lose their uh, vertex light soul value, so they become lit. That seems weird. Yeah. Just because, just... like, it shouldn't. Be a, there shouldn't be a difference between yeah, like what kind of measure they're identical setting lines. Um, you should just uh, make a map for me which like has one working lot uh, mesh and one non-working lot mesh and just let me step through the light solve and see what's going on. Alright, yeah I can do that. Whee! Maybe, maybe even two sets of tree leaves, one with alpha, one without. Really chop chop them. Uh, what? <laughs> then one would just be squares then. Really chop what? A freaking Morgan up in this shit. Well, he claymored me first. Did it, Mike? You can purchase things with your inventory. We meant to test those things. Also, purchasing grenades. Just, just so we're clear. Uh, again, uh, obviously, this is a test map, but. Personally, when I finally get to designing real levels, I want some more uh, vertical gameplay in maps, so I want you to be able to get up on clips and stuff in more places than this. Oh, this is a very no. dimensional map. I think, being able to, I think one thing we have to be very wary, wary of with that is being able to shoot down on bases. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's very annoying absolutely. to defend against. Mm. Yeah. But um, if, if it's aware. in the middle of the map, like, and there's like pits and troughs and you know hills and stuff. And take, remember yeah. that if we want to put aircraft on every map, then we'll have an issue with the flight ceiling. <laughs> oh boy, I noticed something. Uh, when you per when you press four or basically any key and in, uh, in your purchase uh, list, it no longer goes like all the way down and then moves to another column. It uh, goes like you know switches between the columns. So going pressing four will no longer give you the final item in the first column. It will give you the second item in the second column. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bug, I think. And not hundred. I don't was know. it not like that before clicker. the tabs? Twenty minutes remaining. Uh, 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 no. Four always should give you the last thing in the first column. Yeah. Uh, there's a weird thing about the collision here. I'm kind oh, of stuck, but not stuck. Oh. There, I'm stuck. He solved your problem. Like, uh, I could move. Like, I, I could move into the thing, but then I would just walk back. But, uh, like, I was free to move. I stop with these gay grenades. Jesus Christ. God damn it, Bob. That was my kill. Sorry. That's my kill. That's my kill, you son of a bitch. Umagon says, I don't know if I'm supposed to score headshots. It uh, seems to take an unreasonable amount of hits to kill with a sniper rifle. Yeah, uh, well, he headshots, one shot kill. Not about it. And other, other than that, they don't seem to do much. Oh. 
Commander. Uh, oh boy, that's a that's an invisible boy. Ah, foiled. So, so I mean, just I'm only comparing it this rifle. time. This time I'm gonna compare it just to APB. I mean, there you get ten shots or something like that many, and it deals more damage here. It's a one-shot rifle. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Correct observation. Uh, you need about you need. One body shot to kill a technician in APB, two body shots to kill a rifle, and three body sh shots to kill basically anything else with a 10 mag um, thing. Right here, I shot somebody with I just got a body hit, I think it was like 20% health. Yeah, that's. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm just gonna say we should oh analyze the cost benefit ratio. Because it it's a uh, it costs how much does it cost? We're gonna cost eight hundred. Another person I don't know if she does actually that much damage. I don't think if it, I don't think that uh, single oh, shot shit. rifles are any well, any, especially sniper rifles are not any good on this in this engine. It, they feel a little bit pointless, especially if you consider that it has a reload time between I have an shots idea. as God only knows how long. Oh, no. It's the best idea. We should we should remove sniper rifles from the game. Oh, oh, oh nah, we'll we'll again. Go one less unit to be worried about. One less infantry character to replace. Money saved. Let's remove all the maps and all the units. Yeah, let's yeah. remove everything. <laughs> that That's so much less map props let's right there. Let's turn this into a mobile game. I'm already done in that case. It's just released now. Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Just disable the keyboard controls and just use the uh, game pack controls. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's do it. Oh, and joysticks for aircraft. Uh, make it into a racing game where you control only with your mouse, your left click moves forward, your right click goes backward. But you can't hold down the key, you have to keep clicking it in order to go forward. Guys, hmm. I would like some more feedback on this object density. Just, just. just more I parts. think it's a bit. The object I really, density. I, really like it. I think the. I disagree. I think it's very well done, especially since the. Uh, there's like a main road where there's less object density, and then off to the sides they cluster up a little bit more, so you can take cover. Oh shit! Bot but has... you still have a clear way of going. Uh, what's been turned on? Can somebody authorize me through uh, through IRC? Because I'm uh, not on. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I may have butchered this map, but I did put a little bit of thought into where I place rocks. There's a bit of a balance to it, like how many meters there is apart between most of these, you know. And I, th I, didn't th butcher this map I think this is an oh. excellent amount. Of, this is an ac excellent uh, object density. If this is an infantry only map, hmm. um, yeah, especially the infantry lane is never going to ever feature vehicles. Something like this would never suit the vehicle. Yeah, I think, this, I think uh, it's this... good. This this map looks good. Yeah. Same here. I think this would. <laughs> you wouldn't tell me otherwise. I'd say this is a map we're actually trying to put in. Like, not nope. finished, but like the structure of it seems like a basic map. Not saying it should be in, but just saying like, yeah, this seems appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Now that this is like a this is like a template. We can ref if this is good, then th a we know what to replicate As an in infantry other maps. tutorial map, this would work fine. Yeah. Mm. If we don't want to, if we don't want to throw it away, I think it would work fine. Oh, FPS yeah. droppage map. I mean, definitely actually, as a testing map. I'm sort of surprised that the performance is okay because each well, it's not really nice. My, my but, FPS is dropping. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm seeing the LOD stuff. Uh, uh, each but. individual rock and tree is an individual object, guys, because this is sort of created as if 5.1 was a thing. Just to sort of see. What do you mean uh, individual? Oh, the, like yeah. no LED clusters? Everything is an individual preset. Oh, with that, LED. that's great because I can use this as a testing map then. Yeah, and there's only five assets. There's four rocks and one tree. The rest is just terrain. So you know, I feel like the rocks. There's only so again to reiterate. There's four rock models, and I feel like they don't quite feel like they're too repetitive at the same time because of the way I can place them with Object Painter yeah, and can scale rotate them changes. 360 degrees, etc. Yeah, I, can, I didn't even notice, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could go a step further. I only rotate them now in the uh, Z, Z rotation. I could actually rotate them uh, all the way around too, but yeah. uh, I didn't because I added collision meshes to these, which are optimized on a Z axis. So you, when you collide with these rocks, you don't get stuck on any weird angles or over complicated meshes. 
Yeah, just as a note, like I can only get to like 1200 draw calls depending on where I look, so it's like not that much. That may be because the LOD is a little bit aggressive. I don't know. Like I mean, it's still gonna be one draw call per rock. Yeah, but this is a small map, you know? Like, yeah. so imagine this. Well, we're. Also, there's no foliage, there's no grass, there's no bushes, it remains so much. Still. Yeah, sure. Mm. Like the bases have no base props in them except for one light post because three minutes. Oh, that's a shitty spawn. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, boy. I'm stuck too. We're inside the in way. What? Can you move now? Actually, this map highlights uh, yeah. my issue with jump jets and not having flying vehicles in all maps. The jump jets is a goddamn fucking flying vehicle and not bases need a bloody SAM site to deal with them. That's fine. Yeah, no, it, it's kind of, well, you could say that, but it's another building that has well, to get blown up You say that it needs a SAM site, you have the rocket trooper who is homing on, at least uh, theoretically should be on jump jets. They're not, or barely. If well, you were lucky. Oh, I didn't see your radar. Oh, your radar invisible, of course. Yes. Uh, oh, jump on it. the back of the not hand exterior. There, you can get sort of stuck if you try to walk over the red part. Because there's like... I feel like a collision mesh has been removed. Okay, enough of Rifleman. Oh, I'm teleporting too now. That's great. Wow, it's a future. Yes. Increasing uh, mobility of infantry. Oh, great. Oh fuck, it's the vol! What is that? Uh, Team Wolf and Chop, uh, at some point we should maybe talk about object density a little bit further if you guys wanna. We need to have an actual, another level meeting. Yeah, we're overdue on one. Uh, yes. To be fair, not, not without reason, we've just been <laughs> on levels oh a lot. Yeah, pretty much. You massive, colossal Cantosaurus! Fun little fact, this is actually the first actual bit of level work I've done on TSRs in months. Yeah, see what you managed to do in two days. It's impressive. Now you... Now A lot of my time was actually used up on the AI and getting those assets LOD rigged up because... the What? Oh, you'll want to be careful because telling people how long it took to make this map because they're going to expect every map to take two days. Uh, I oh my say, god, we got yeah, but, 15 uh, maps in a uh, single month? Oh. Uh, this is a small map. Listen, okay, oh, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Let me tell you why this took so little time for me. I did no grey box testing. I, did no, I had no real design other than just a rough idea in my head. I wanted two lanes for testing and that, you know, I just made a donut map. It, it, Excellent. Yeah, so normally like in a real it's... map, you know, you go through the phases of, okay, what's the overall shape? Okay, you know, where do you want to focus your lanes? Where do you want to focus your object density areas and so forth and so forth? Uh, and then as uh, Team Wolf would happily tell you, you go and grey box that. It's not easy to hit your KY with 30 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> this practically is a grey box map. This this is this is a grey box map to me. This is my version of a grey box map. Yeah. Uh, I feel a punch in my face coming in, but it, it it's true. This 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 to me is like I, I put some objects around. To me, that's the definition of grey boxing. It's just not grey. Ow! Punch me because I'm not feeling that punch right now. I'm holding my tongue. I'm trying to be nice for once. Wow, I didn't think that was even possible for you. Got your stupid fucking tits. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna die to the flamer. That's a rip. Holy. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of the maps, um, these textures are awful. Yes. Uh, we TSR has like no textures at all. Like, well, it had more no. before some of them were deleted. No, no, like, <laughs> no, no, in, in terms of where we want to go standard-wise, we just haven't gotten to it yet. So what I slapped on these rocks and everything is just literally the only thing I could find. It looks hideous, but... I um, mean, T underscore debug underscore plus is the best section. I, I was doing that, but I got, I got really disoriented. Like, I couldn't really tell, okay, mm. where's the slope? You know, what <laughs> terrain is passable and impassable? I, I, so I just went back to temporary texture because it just was too much to... Uh, 
deal with that lack of color. So, we should oh, no. probably have another Sorry. balance and design meeting sometime this week. Is it is it just my monitor, or basically there's something wrong with the color saturation? It's so difficult for me to see anything, like especially dark. How did uh, you guys get a mobile sensor? Around right? dark. Uh, someone's using admin commands, I guess. Sensor, right? uh, I don't think we have one, do we? We yeah. do. Well, we did. That's uh, that's someone using admin commands. I have not. Who the added fuck is using admin bombs? commands on this? Come on. Probably chop ban. What? Stop being, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Power what? up what? using more. What? Um, what? 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 I need to write some lines for the enforcer and the confessor so that I can knock them out. Uh, I, ca I can't see anything. Like looking against the sun with uh, with dark models and dark box is uh, it's impossible. Just screenshot what you're seeing. I have no visibility. Alright, I can't because I'm being shot at. Give me a second, I'm gonna kill them first. Also, is it just me or uh, sometimes okay. the uh, kill uh, feed doesn't actually show? It's because yeah, the, 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 the weapon of that. Proto Infantry doesn't have a not entry in the eye now. So oh, okay, sure. okay, okay, okay. So it's not AC. a bug, it's just not done yet. Yeah. For the AI vehicles, I have to, had to explicitly add new lines for them. Actually, I have a question Where's on my that. Team? That, mm. that file, the uh, kill message file, it mm -hmm. uses uh, string IDs based on the old numeric format, which means that, uh, like, it might be complicated to add new strings to it, because it we don't get to see the numeric font uh, value anymore. Just for the sake it. of, like, having a, a reminder, we could really uh, add, like, a, add a question mark or something. You mean the default? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, like a default. So that every time you kill somebody with something where it doesn't have a thing yet, it shows oh, killed with a question mark. No, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Or any placeholder thing we have. So just, so, just for the sake of a... Uh, yeah, you get it. That would I think be a this code is uh, in so that uh, spies uh, don't show up in APB. Yeah. What? Uh, spy kills don't show up in APB and that's on purpose. I suppose it could be an option for like certain units that are explicitly excluded from the. Why does it have to oh well, be you could add. In that case, you'd add it as an entry or something or a setting. Mm. Why can't this not be a preset thing? Like, well, why does it have to be in a in a, any file? Curious. There's no reason really. It's just. <laughs> it, it's just easier oh, it's to been? do. Is just check one? that. Just check that in file. It's it's so bloated. It's so like it's actually at the top. It says total object count, and it doesn't even match the actual object count that's in the file. Let's go to you. Sure. I'd actually prefer an object to the DDB was in text. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Thanks, DG. Your sacrifice will be special on that, guys. Because at least they can merge them then. Yeah, that'd be good. Text objects. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I would really like it if we, at some point, could spend some time uh, when we have decided on like our UI library. We just make a UI for every single INI file to just edit it in Mammoth. Hmm. Especially for like the huge oh God. files, like the surface effects. Like that's just insane to edit just by hand. I'm scared of a white box attack you. On now? I feel like we're engineering the world with rocket. <laughs> like, I, I, I was single handedly repairing the Hand of Not from three attackers. Yeah, repair guns also give you massive credits. It's like the easiest way to earn this, money. This is renegade garbage. Hello. Also, uh, you say three attackers, two of them were probably rifles, which aren't good against buildings. Wait, I was using an enforcer and oh, shooting right at the master control terminal. Were you using an engineer or a techie? Oh, actually, uh, I need to say I, something. I was using I was using the purchasable repair gun. All right. When the I was MCT repairing. does not take extra damage from anything other than C4 in this game. Talk me other, say otherwise. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Um, 
When you go click look it, at, go look at armor I know. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, that's what smart people do. I, I just by feel of it. I feel like I shoot an MCT and I shoot the exterior or interior mesh. I feel like there's no difference there. Same Boy, score per, per hit. Same pixels oh, all going off the health bar per hit. That's a fair point. It, it, it maybe like statistically it might be better, but I don't feel it. Maybe the exteriors aren't tough enough. That's that's possible. Possible. Look, uh, I'm just. I have no idea how it's set up, and I don't want to know. So, you know, I'm scared. But I'm just the best. feel right. It's very, uh, it's very nice system to be done. To be honest, a lot of these things feel like Renegade. In Renegade, you, you shot a building from the. Uh, with certain weapons, you did basically no damage to them. In a lot of ways, it still kind of feels like that in this game. There's still a lot of the renegading that needs to happen, I feel. Uh, what exactly do you mean? I guess it. Well, I would say that. I mean, uh, if you shoot a building with a pistol, do you think building should be taken damage? No, 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 no. Like with a with a rifle, for example. Like, uh -huh. I feel like it's not. It does deal damage to the MCT. I don't know. It, it feels a bit. Three minutes remaining. Don't you guys feel like this game is descending into everybody buying mines and throwing the mines at building entrances? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's, that's what you get. When that's you have what mines. you get when you mimic Renegade. It's just yeah. not mimicking Renegade at all. This is literally purchasable. Instead yeah, but Renegade has purchasable exactly. mine layers, and then what you did in Renegade when you purchased the hot wire or whatever the not version was called, you just put mines at door frames. <laughs> and yeah, and that's just want to say it's not and a direct not copy because we're not mimicking Renegade. We try to no, do but something it, unique. The mines ultimately play exactly the same way. You know, you place they them in those the same positions because that is the. Mind that we were deliberately Here's the copying thing, can... Renegade. We were not. Correct me if I'm wrong, but can you disarm the mines by shooting them with anything? You don't yes. need a repair yes, kit. Yes. Okay. okay. Cool. Oh god, yes! <laughs> Maybe they need a hitbox. Like a visual, like, oh, you're aiming at a mine thing. Oh god, what happened to you? Oh, Chopper died in the door. Yes, Two minutes. Yeah, power find all on the door. It's also still something It's killed by his own fucking weapon. Yeah. I something mean, I think we should fix. Really? Technically speaking, the flamethrower is already a, a retard friendly weapon where you just call the button and run to the middle of the enemy team. Oh, it's it's low range. It doesn't matter, it still deals damage. And it deals damage to everyone. If flamethrowers couldn't damage themselves, then you buy a bunch of flamers, go into a building, how does your opponent kill I, you when I you just fail the thing? I that sentiment, they however, uh, they're, like most units in this game don't have friendly fire. It feels a bit like a one-off. Uh, it's not friendly fire, you're just damaging yourself. Sorry, yeah. Um, uh, all splash weapons can damage Could you yourself. Okay, yeah, but you don't really notice once. it normally. Uh, you do yeah. when you they shoot at your feet. They should at least, in my opinion, yeah. have reduced uh, self damage from flame. Okay, Maybe reduce reduced damage, sure. Reduce yeah. it a bit. Uh, don't remove it. No, no. I agree with Vote. And you just make it a very spray and pray friendly weapon. One minute remaining. What issues yeah. are also we if you're in, if you're close to you know cover, which we want to improve, include on maps, so you get lagged, you automatically damage yourself for no fucking reason. I will repair you to death. That's a terrifying thought. See, it worked. Look. I literally <laughs> cannot hit anything with this sniper rifle. He's a ghost stalker. Deals more damage and fires faster. Yeah. And can damage other targets as well. Oh god, flame of time. Rip. <laughs> At least there's no shortage of action on a map of this size, I guess. You're always, like, shooting people. There's no mm. downtime. I guess infantry only can be fun in this engine, as long as we have good maps for it. I think it... I don't know, like... I, I think want... this will get old really quickly. Yeah, sure, especially if the map lasts for 30 minutes, but when it lasts 15, I think that's acceptable. Maybe if you added some, let's say, call-in uh, tanks, not a war factory, but some call-ins where you can, you know, save money that you get from kills, and you can just buy a tank for it or whatever to drive in a mm -hmm. lane and then die. Who knows? What I'm worried about is deviating from the core formula while well, we don't have a core formula completely ironed out yet. Maybe uh, maybe post-release we can do some experimental <laughs> yeah. gameplay-driven uh, maps. But I think oh, yeah, for launch we should, we should for launch we should have just seven to eight core maps with no gameplay deviation from them, and just really fucking nail that gameplay. Just get it perfect. Tainted yeah, Legacy has never looked this good before. <laughs> yeah. I don't, no. The aesthetics are really improving, you can tell. Look at the Tiberium <laughs> crystals, these new graphical effects on them. While I'm waiting for this, I'm gonna start a new Google Doc. 
I mean, oh, pri prior to this, I believe Tatum Legacy was a little bit too dark. Now with all the white Westwood logos all over the place, uh, the map is getting yeah. some character. You should uh, you should try out the stealth tank though and tell me what you think. Alright. I'll do. Alt fire, best fire, yes? Uh, it we have to collect the best map the yet though. Give everyone money again. No, don't give everybody money. Uh, <laughs> the the test units isn't in the rotation, unfortunately. Just that is way out Well, last time you gave everyone money, Chubb, but you only gave it to your own team. Dick. Did I? I don't think yes. so. Yes, yes. No. Like, we finally got enough money to buy a bicycle, we left the base, and you already had a Mammoth Mark II walking towards us. Talk about today. Oh, what? Oh, today? yeah. Feel free to give money. I have an IRC well, script. But... I have an IRC script that'll give everyone money. How much money? Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Nine. <laughs> Who is uh, messaging from Kane on IRC? New Harvester is so good. It's a new one. I think I'm, I'm I'm construction if I get a chance, I might re export it because I've noticed a lot of smoothing issues on the mesh. It looks very yeah, blobby. Yeah, yeah, might. That's Plus, there's no smoothing good. groups at all, so. Yeah. Uh, I pretty much just exported it as is. Yeah. Okay. There's Everyone no snapping might... enabled, so it will just yeah, dock yeah. in at a re really dumb angle. I like, love the obelisk uh, sound, like by the way. Facility My absolute attack. favorite. But it does dock, and it doesn't get stuck anymore. Say again, folks. I love the obelisk sound. My absolute favorite. Yeah, it's mm. uh, it's the it's the super duper obelisk sound from CC3. I know. The one Yay. that sounds like impending doom. Ah, oh, I waited all that time as well for a dump. <laughs> like, oh, now I've God got money. God damn it, children. Holy crap, come on! I'm not even mad. I'll either. never see this much money ever in my life! The Orc should now have double you ammo. Ready. It should have an extra eight rockets in the magazine, so there's something nice. to give it. So the reload should work. Um, but still can't refill. It should be able to refill. Oh, okay. Because it, it's now got a magazine for it to refill. Oh, was that the issue? Yeah, I don't think it can refill properly. I'm just going to double check. That was mine, I Well, I fixed that with the Harpy, and apparently the Harpy still couldn't refill, so... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will... Eight Hellfires! Ah! <laughs> yes, the still tank sound! <laughs> I am such a fan! Yep, it reloads. Uh, the Orca is good, you can actually kill one. You can actually, one. You can actually reload now. Have fun. Uh, ben, 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 Ben. Yeah? The, uh, the stealth tank, while it's firing or reloading, it needs that whining sound of the stealth tank as well. <laughs> Have you tried the, um, the alt fire? We'll see. Oh, it, it just fires straight, right? Yeah, it just fires straight, but fires all eight missiles at once. And the rate of fire is a bit high. Well, there, there, well, is, one, there is one problem that I can see with, uh, with, what you oh, call it? With oh, uh, these nice. new air controls, the aircraft go that so fast that the missiles will explode out of range before they can hit them when you're using any form of anti-air. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to turn off the. It'd be nice to be able to turn off the expiry time. Simply not true. If uh, if a missile's locked, it'd it be nice to just turn off the expiry time. I mean, of course I can hit you when you're charging me head first, but when you're, for example, flying by and I start firing and you immediately turn away, you're going to, like, dodge the missiles. It's the same problem that APB currently has with, uh, whatchamacallit, the... Me. Longbow? Uh, with, uh, with mammoth uh, rockets against oh, longbows. Tusks. Against what? <laughs> longbows. Oh. Currently, huh? currently in APB, the, uh, the yeah. service doesn't really have anything to counter longbows. I'm currently having the problem that I can never slow down enough to... Uh, go into the top mode. <laughs> like it, it just won't slow down. I think if anything, I might just increase. Might just be worth increasing. Uh, oh shit! No, I don't think no, you need no, to no, slow no, down. No, no, no. I do. Okay. Being I level is the most important. Part. You just I need to level. I can yeah. see my doom flying towards me. I can't dodge him. I can't kill him. Okay, I accept my demise. You, oh, have, been, you have been spared oh. for today. No, are kill you flying, me. DJ? I'm trying to brainstorm how to add a second entrance to the Hand of Dawn. Yeah, let's have oh. a small we'll secondary go, we'll, hand. Uh, we'll go have a have a look at that in a second. Hover so. MLRSs are deadly to stealth tanks now. No, it's incredible, they're no. a counter and I love it. Wait, I, I, got I, want, I want the Orca Bomber to fly like a plane now. <laughs> <That's deep. laughs> Next patch. No! It's actually, you could probably balance the Orca Bomber a little bit better if it no, did fly like it. a plane. Yeah, yeah. 
The thing, you couldn't just hover over a building, you would have to make bombing runs. Hmm. And it'd be good because uh, you could do something where the, the, the kind of bomb base close up when you're in VTOL mode. Yes. That's... Ooh. Because, uh, yeah, because the model is rigged up for that, or at least it's got the panels. Ooh, Daddy liked that idea. Wouldn't it be possible to make those bomb bays open up when you're firing? Um. Hmm. Me? Not in the moment. But I'm not. I'm, actually, I'm not going to say anything because. I do. Oh, then Milo could have to do it. I think. Uh, I think ha <laughs> having it, having them closed by default, and then when you uh, go into the flying mode, if they just open up, that'd be fucking awesome. Uh, Wait, this is... I, I just, I just thought of something. Can we? Can we? And hear me out. Use the Gatling logic to where instead of like a Gatling barrel spinning up, it opens the bomb base, and then when you're done, they close. Uh, that's a bad idea because we're talking about like a uh, Gatling logic's on a weapon. Yeah, and it uses a spin bone, which spins the, the barrels. Nice. Yeah, so you'd have oh, the bomb door spinning okay. the entire time. <laughs> I, I wish this Orca versus uh, it looked, Banshee it, it'd fight. It'd be good for an Ornithopter, but not for... Uh, no, no, oh. it's an Iron Storm. Uh, guess we did This is a bit there. weird. Uh, the uh, repair pad refills the Orca. I don't know if that's mm, intentional. Yep, yeah, it's intentional. Oh, that's oh. intentional. Yes. Okay. In place of refill pads for now. Where did you, you live? <laughs> oh no! Because we want to be able to refill the helicopters more than just. I got the I got hit by a lightning bolt. Oh no! Oh Rip. man! Lost my orca. Wow! I just got hit by a lightning bolt whilst inside a building and lost all my health. It's great. <laughs> great feature, guys. I bet this triggers the refill cooldown as well. Oh, that's a walkie boy. I noticed the FPS is still dropping. Anything. Oh, the bombs are so powerful. Also, Ben, if you teach me how to do it, I can you fold the MSA and MSG into each other if you want. Yeah, it's just oh, a script. Man. So. I'm so oh, so I just look for the script on the uh, MSA and put it on the MSG, and it should uh, be fine. But you're gonna get a double bubble then, which is. Graphically awkward. Well, I don't I think, think I don't, you can. You won't get a bubble if you don't set one in the script, right? Is that so? Okay. Yeah, I'll just check it out. But yeah, you can. As long as they're the same ranges, the, that should be fun. Is there a mobile stealth generator of limit? Because there, well, there is. Yeah, two. Is that uh, the same for the uh, MSA? I believe so. I think yeah. the MSA has three. That needs to be normalized, I think, for consistency. Mm. Okay. Because they're the same vehicle. Yeah, it's so why, why, why is that limit? Why not just have loads of sensor arrays? It's clearly combat. We could build a wall, and then we repair the wall, and then no one can get in. Mm. So yes, and make not pay for it. <laughs> With <laughs> FPS drops. With to be fair, well. the only reason why I set those limits walls, to be the, the way they ever. were was because that's how it was on the sheet, so... Fuck the sheet! Yeah, I'll, I'll go away now. No, By the way, the seat was just a baseline, so I can totally change oh, that. Yeah. I think, uh, I think the, the orcas being Stoviel really kind of fulfills the you fantasy of being an orca I pilot. I haven't played one yet. I to keep getting on Nod. Uh, I'll swap, with, Ow, I'll, I'll swap with you if you want to swap. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm complaining about the next thing. The uh, the, the Devil's the mo Devil's, no, Devil's Tongue. When it comes out of the war factory, it comes out with its arms like wide out. Yeah, I need a bit of I need a code fix for that. Um, basically, some some way to basically tell it, tell the um, the vehicle to where to position its weapon when it's coming out of a factory. <laughs> Those missiles. Um, because yes. currently, I, I have to have it rigged like the way the way it's rigged, because otherwise the sponsors don't work. The thing is, when it comes out of the war factory, it has its weapon deselected actually, so it might be kind of awkward. I don't know. I deserve that. If maybe that maybe <laughs> there was like an initial um, an initial weapon orientation, initial Wait, weapon angle or something like that. Uh, we could I may understand why that is because when you're in digging mode, the 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 weapons can turn all the way backwards. Yes. I think the digging model for the Devil's Tongue needs redoing as well because it's not right. Oh yeah. What's wrong the, with um, it? So with the Devil's Tongue, you can actually fire backwards. Wait, that's actually. I mean, 
that's so, silly. That's actually a feature. Basically, you could drive away from Fuck someone it. while shooting them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a trick used by the RAF. This is so <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Oh, makes it so good. Uh, collision damage needs to be enabled for VTOL for orcas. Yeah. Like, they shouldn't be able to survive collisions. Yeah, I've already got that down as a note. Actually, Banshee on Banshee collision mid air is very 50 50. Sometimes you both explode, sometimes you just both get stuck on each other for a while, and then you just fly off again. Uh, Olga, can you maybe look at uh, increasing the accuracy of the Wolverine? Because, it, like, I mean, it's very cheap, but CMD it's a fat man. it takes a long time to kill infantry, <laughs> and it should be good against infantry. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I could look at the spray. Uh, what we do really at the moment um, is that those bullet weapons, the um, uh, Wolverine and the bike, oh, sorry, the buggy, uh, both have projectile extensions on them. So I'll give a look at the size of those as well. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. Batman incoming! I gotta say though, the stealth tank is legitimately fun to use now. My god, the Mammoth Mach 2 auto cannon is like 20 damage a shot to a vehicle. My, uh, yeah, that's a bit too much. I think I, all of its values stung. need to be turned down a little bit. Doug. And the only thing I can see now is one of the wheels, <laughs> and the rest is invisible. Oh wait, now the second one. There's, there's like two wheel bits. I think Fuck I it. exploded. Fuck off. This is gonna be a screen shot. Let's show the other wheel again. Hmm. We oh. have a still. Do we have a still thing in our base? Because the sensor array is invisible. Uh, yeah, we have an MSG. Uh, well, it's not making my cyborg rapist invisible. Huh. That's weird. Oh. He got me. Hi. Hi. He got chopped and then banned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, Unit ready. mad props on the stank. Yeah, good job, man. It went from being one of my least favorite units to one of my most favorites. I still don't quite understand how the secondary fire uh, works. Does it fire all the missiles straight forward, or, do they, or does it spray them at an angle? Uh, fires them all straight, straight forward. forward. Okay, so I guess I was just sliding over the terrain and that made them go at an, at an angle. Yeah. It also pushes your vehicle back a little bit. Yeah, if you don't like that secondary fire, I'm convinced uh, we needed one. Uh, I wonder how effective that is against buildings because it's very it reloads very fast. That might be like a ridiculous building killer and mass. Yeah, that's uh probably it's is. um so the rate of fire is faster than a regular rocket. The damage is the same, uh, but yeah, we we'll just take a look at it. We could make that all fire uh, less damaging against buildings. There I think because so it's a great mark two map. killer. Yeah, the base defense is so the way, I, like, I, I have the damage of the Vulcan cannons. <laughs> Although, I will say that, uh... The stealth tank really does feel great yeah, as, like, an ambush tank attack. destroyer at this point, especially with that secondary. That's the kind of this is why I think that the stealth tank doesn't need its AA capacity. I think the AA capacity needs to go to the Reaper to give the Reaper a bit more relevance. No, Reaper, no, 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 no. The Reaper is going to be one of the most relevant units in the game, uh, like, by default, by design. The fact that you're a missile launcher with, a, a extra, with an extra capacity against infantry, um, missile naturally, obviously, will uh, home on air units. The Reaper will be like a Kind of like a late game tank, or not? Ready. Maybe not a late game tank, it's basically I'm not a jackal tank. Uh, like, uh, uh, this is new. Well, it's so, it's underwhelming. So it's the I am toughest stuck. unit not have, actually. I am stuck in a rather interesting place. Yeah, it's the toughest yeah, unit not have at the bad. moment. It, it's supposed to heal in Tiberium, but I don't think it does yet. It does. Uh, oh, it does. It does. Oh yeah, so it heals the Tiberium. Uh, it's got the Weber and uh, the rockets. So it's pretty damn good. 
the Reaper already is not that effective against L units because his missiles are extremely slow. And actually, I like the idea of very slow missiles because it makes him a brawler rather than a sniper. So he will be able to, well, he currently is able to shoot down, let's say, an orca that's hovering over him and trying to kill him, but he will not be able to, like, shoot down units that are trying to run away from him. And the stealth tank against units. I think stealth tank is good against air units. I mean, air units are already so fast and so ridiculously difficult to kill. And having an edge against them by having an invisible unit is, I think, is pretty cool and warranted. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good against orca bombers. Um, yeah, the uh, stealth tank be able to snipe uh, air units out of the air GDI sounds pretty good to me. Holy crap! Oh, that doesn't get anything. Oh, this needs some nerf. Excuse me? I just, I just uh, basically almost one-shot at the DDI refinery with the grinders, because... Uh, well, if your DDI, oh, player, comes to the DDI, if your DDI player comes to the DDI I mean, power plant, yeah, I'm stuck. I'll tell you what, the grinder is actually uh, on my list of things to fix. Because right well, now... It's, uh, it's really bad versus defense, because you got to hug them and it only does a little bit of damage. If you come to the GDI power plant... It's the only, like, normal normal unit in the game right now that uses the Warhead Type None, and the Warhead Type None is automatically 1.0 versus everything. I see what you mean, yeah. Like, I'm stuck and it's it like I'm hitting some... multiple okay. things at oh, once. Yeah. Oh, okay. What, what determines what the grinder targets on a building, by the way, because there's something going haywire. Ah! Um, it's That's got too, way it's too much shape. It's doing a box cast so it finds anything that is in the box. Hello. And then it tries to find like the closest wow. point on a triangle mm -hmm. to the box center, I think, that to make the hit effect. Something right. like that. I, well, I have to implement that yeah. because it used to just make the effect at the building center. Get out of sight. <laughs> this is weird. Now I went yeah. invisible with that. Wait. Okay, on? that was chopped. That was oh, no, fucking I ridiculous. The, the, but the, the, the silly twitchy thing you can do. Oh, like no, that. That, yeah, but yeah, try shooting at me, by the way. There is something really weird or broken about the stealth oh, gen. The camera shake. The camera shake is crazy. <laughs> I can see. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Okay, the stealth gen doesn't matter. Really cool. uh, yeah, uh, I will draw the same. I thought the stealth gen was around the MSA, so it's said to be similar to the stealth gen. It's completely different, and that's why the stealth zone is so weird. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a bug at the moment where the, um, uh, the, the, the emitter isn't coming out at the right angle. Well, it could be worse. It could be the, the bug where if you have two overlapping stealth gens, the game will crash, attack. and the server as well. Yeah, the the flame the flame for a missile on the devil's tongue isn't coming out of the back of the barrel for hmm. I'm I'm still kind of annoyed by this problem that if you don't have the one a terrible unit in a attack. game and you're not like doing a massive tank rush, you it's cannot it's attack bases at all. It's not possible because of the walls and the base defenses with infinite range. I don't need some tuning past yeah, uh, The base defenses down. in general are a bit... Uh, it's supposed to just be there as a way to stall, but they kind of like blockade more at the moment. Yeah, me and KY are going to go over the, the unit ranges uh, yeah. at some point, so that we can give some of the later game stuff maybe the ability to outrange the defenses. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's especially prevalent in like low player games. Like yeah, if you yeah, if you lose so your bad. one guy uh, APP driving has a the artillery, solution. you're screwed. You guys know what APP does with that. Uh, basically, the, the defenses get a lot less health if there's a lower player count on the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's also uh, so almost good. every unit outranges defenses. Like if you're careful enough. The main thing is to getting the ranges and the damage right. God damn it! I mean, if you think about it, the role of a base defense should be preventing the opponent's team from, like, you know, charging right into your base and blowing up your buildings. It's and more of a match start bump. Like, uh, it's, it's supposed to prevent early matches, uh, rushes, and, you know, killing the yeah, game before and the fight starts. It also alerts you to where the enemy is. That's yes. very important. Yeah. It shouldn't be the be all end all defender of bases where you can no. just you know forget about your own base. I'm Actually on, the, on that I'm note I think they should repair slower. Uh, maybe. 
I don't actually know how fast they repair. How fast do they repair? I think you repair them right now just <coughs> as fast as uh, anything else. Like a building. Mm, APB currently also has a problem where a technician can out repair. Like, from the technician repairing a base defense can out repair two captains shooting at it. Oh, oh I, have a, I have an issue with this. This is a TS issue. Uh, you see, DDI can bunker down behind their walls and repair their component power from the safety of within their walls. Not does not have this luxury because of the design of the walls and the laser turrets. Not has the obelisk. Yeah, not always though, but yeah, I suppose. Actually, yeah, we, we do want to. We probably want to balance the obelisk downwards a bit so that it can become a bit more common. Hmm. Uh, a bit. How like, common exactly are you talking? That's a really good question, but more oh, common than like in this one map. Well, ever. technically speaking, if you make that so the flame towers are uh, nothing. What am I talking about? The laser turrets are more or less an anti-infantry base oh, defense, and the obelisk is more or less strictly an anti-tank defense. Let's say give the obelisk a spray angle that will hit all the tanks it shoots at, but will not necessarily hit infantry that it shoots at. Maybe it will even more more often miss the infantry that it's shooting at. Um, that solution, you could slap the obelisk on almost any map as an anti-tank defense, and you know the uh, yeah. GDI yeah, would have it's the ability it's to destroy the turret at the moment, which is not. Yeah, I, it, it makes sense that a big laser can miss a tiny little infantry person. I guess. Yeah. Weird way. Did that do damage to your raptor? <laughs> oh, with that being said, I would not do any work on the obelisk right now because that work is redundant. Uh, I need to de-terrain it. Please. I need to basically take what it is and like copy that into a different preset format. So uh, if you're doing any balance rework on, on the base fences, just for now you'll have to ignore the, uh, the obelisk. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if it's needed, just tone down the damage as a hotfix, but like, just don't do anything crazy. It's all gonna be redundant. We c I, I, I don't see the problem with us adding, like, say, a spray angle. Like, just messing with the weapon values. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna use the same weapon preset at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm not sure how it does the, uh... Wow. My bullet does oh, nothing Jesus, against that. Our two bullets it's, do it's nothing against uses forces. The, still uses the classic thing. Say it again, Tropy? Like, I was hitting his, you for two full clips and it hardly did any damage, CMD Bob. Huh. On the Enforcer, uh, non rifle soldier bullets against the Enforcer. I think the Enforcer mm. is going to be a lot easier to kill mm -hmm. and deal with uh, once he's got a new model. Yeah, he'll yeah. probably have a nice big hit It's going to be nice and chonky. Extra oh, thick. No, I, I saw hit markers the entire clip limit. and hardly did any damage. Oh, weird. Oh, uh, maybe his, oh. maybe his, res his bullet resistance. Oh, I hard. had. I think I had a lot of health. Yeah, it's possible. I, I had, no, I think I know what the problem was. I had very low health because I'd fallen off a cliff, but I still had nearly full armor. Ah. Hmm. So I looked more hurt than I was. What's well, first? I was hurt, but that comes a weird. Question. Uh. Why do we have armor, like, in TSR? Like, um, maybe it's a terrible. stupid question. Armor can shield your infantry from Tiberium. Like, this is like one of the ideas behind the uh, Enforcer. The Enforcer is immune to Tiberium as long as, his, uh, as he has any armor. Unit ready. Right, so that's like more like a neat feature. That's health. something that only the Enforcer needs. Yeah, there's two kinds of layers of health that infantry can be dealt with. Yeah, but in TSR there's no health regen, and, like, I'm pretty sure the armor... It's, it's, it's the same. Uh, the armor and health use the same uh, type. Yeah, that's. Yeah, so basically, well, the armor and health are one and the same. Yeah, so why why do we have armor? If 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 the intention is not to add health regen, then the intention why is to add health regen. Okay, well, if you add health regen, then <laughs> armor makes sense they because do. you don't want to regen the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, but I'm just saying, if, if, if a unit for some reason has no regen, just get rid of the armor, get rid of the UI of it as well, and just, you know, makes it yeah, easier to understand. Yeah, we've done that in AR. <coughs> because the health proximity mines not get triggered by uh, vehicles. No, I don't think they do. No. APB uses a different armor system, where uh, armor will just protect you from part of the damage that, that you take, the rest of the damage you take to your health. 
So you'll be taking health damage, then you're going to regen up, but you'll lose the armor. So your survivability in the field is no limited base, unless you use a supply truck or you return back to base to refill your armor. Additionally, some weapons deal more damage to health, or some weapons just ignore health and go through armor, which gives like you know another dimension of uh, yeah. a weapon. AB is very complex in that regard. Like seriously, Vo, is that you in the Reaper? Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot you. Not that I can shoot you with anything useful anyway. Did these not explode if you walk over them? Uh, the, the what? Sorry, come again. The the mines. Which Some mines? mines. Uh, there are Umagon's mines. I don't see them anywhere. Uh, right They're in front right of me. They're right over here. Here. Four okay. minutes remaining. I mean, uh, the Umagon mines often break and they don't explode. It's the same with the EMP mines that oh. are now gone. Oh no, oh, these, okay. ones, they these ones work. And they don't do any damage. Uh, the cyber rapist basically is super strong. Like I think the most damage the Reaper takes is from rifles. Like you can shoot him with Titan for no damage, but if you spray him with enough rifle soldiers, he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck am I hearing? Well, I guess nobody to shoot. The fuck is the RPG component doing? Other than fuck all. Are oh, there? Yeah, our RPG component is just dumb. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, we have power. I've actually noticed that the RPG component is not really firing all the time. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, you blew up our power plant and it needs power. Oh right. Damn. Oh, that's the thing. That's also, the enforcer I, is an amazing stank hunter. It seems. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, it gives it a nice little, another nice little niche. You know, because you can just spray the sonic beam and it's like. Yeah. And he's uncrushable. Oh yeah. Yes, and forces is a tanky boy. So, tanky boy. Oh Act my oh, god, can it's I like the Valkyrie something from Day Off. I love it. You can notice this on test units. You get stuck on infantry a lot when you ride right into them. Like, why do you get stuck on infantry that are uncrushable? Why don't you just push them? Uh, I think it knocks them into the you ground ready. on test units. Oh, is that test that units is weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's still the best map. If you it is quite good, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Jump jet! Up inside. It's oh no, it's no test bases, but... Yeah, it's right. not test bases, not quite, no. <laughs> I can't wait to start playing a template, guys. It's, it's pretty good. It's like, I don't get frustrated about that map at all. Two minutes remaining. Um, I see you looking the, the wrong, the wrong way, Wolverine. Knows enough. Oh god, we're gonna die. It's up in the building. I purchased some Time C4 just for this. Oh, you've got prepared. I'm, I'm here with a rifle, dude. I'll cover you, man. I'm a really good player. I should have gotten oh, Claymores. I should have gotten the, uh, you know, proximity ones. Yeah, I do think the purchasable equipment is more of an uh, aggressor advantage. I like yeah, it. That's, that's good. Honestly, I like it. Me too. Might need a few more, like, different upgrades, maybe, just to throw extra credits into. Yeah, it might just be a bit worrying when, like, uh, people do rushes with, like, three or four people all having time C4, and you just can't even get there fast enough to repair it. Just mm. make it a bit more expensive. This is, yeah, this is kind of why I kind of want to have MCPs in accessible lower ground areas. This is why I'm so dragging my feet on the conyard again, because I just, I, in my gut, I don't feel right about the MCT being Please, on the first floor again. Attack. Oh, second floor for you, Americans. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just don't feel right about it. And I mean, just look, Job, we just attacked just that do building. Just what you want, man. We went smack I, I like, yeah, I like through the middle of the GDI easy. base. It's pretty Everyone easy saw to us. Then. Whole GDI team came for us. We went to the first floor. We, uh, yeah, you know, you wanna. And, right. and we, we put, you to put the C4 on, and there's nothing they could do. Like, we, we locked the room down easily. Uh, what do you mean you locked it? Uh, well, uh, oh, well, well no, I guess nobody, nobody came died, but you were too late. I was the only one who came, and I was like, 
The vote of the people were doing it. I was like, hang on, no way. Oh, I mean, technically yeah, okay, speaking, well, okay, three people are shooting us from the this, spawn bay. Let me put it this way. If you have, let's say, four players who, you know, run with C4 and plays the C4, and you have four defenders, there's nothing stopping the defenders from, from buying their own... No, not to mention they can buy any unit to counter you. They have that option because they're in their own base. They can also all buy grenades and just toss the grenades into the room. What, what about this? Okay. They okay, can also okay, buy so completely left left out of nowhere idea. What if there was a, a an intelligent or preset way to counter C4 before before the C4 gets placed? What if there was like an upgrade that shielded an MCT from C4 until that was dealt? Oh, that's so gay. And then what, what if, if you, uh, what, if what, and then what if the aggressor? Bombs. Then what if the aggressor can buy a, buy a counter to the counter? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, see, uh, that's intelligent game. You play, are, oh my god, design. you guys are brilliant! Make the MCT the PCT for the opposing team! <laughs> Think about it! <laughs> that means you have to get to the enemy base if you want to buy anything. No, you also have your own. Don't you worry about that. I do want to say, though, real quick, reflecting on last match. Um, Cyborg Reaper that. teamed with a stealth that. tank is an amazing combination. Because the Cyborg Reaper is able to hold down most of the enemy forces and tank a lot of the damage while the stealth tank goes into the side and supports mm. with a big fuck ton of damage. Reaper's just got awesome field presence slap well him in the face. The it's awesome. Yeah. Guys, there's a box attacking the node base. I think what should uh, be the counter to the Reaper is the, the Disruptor, really. The Disruptor is ironically faster than the Reaper and it's still should be his cap similar range. <laughs> Yeah, I, the Disruptor might need a damage buff, I don't know. It's not a damage buff, it's just... Uh, it doesn't it's, feel right. It does. Faster projectile velocity, lower projectile extensions. Do you remember the idea of making the projectile extensions uh, not collide with terrain? Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, into I tunnels. That. I feel like that would be really abusable when attacking a building, though. Yeah, that would also be very abusive uh, when you shoot that target and become covered. Uh, Oh, fuck. I'm not that, seeing, am I? Oh, that's wait. the thing. The, the Disruptor has this nice firing effect. Uh, these massive, big, uh, square things, uh, rectangular things. But uh, it's really bad for gameplay purposes. If you give this projectile extensions, you can't hit anything that has any uh, object ahead ahead of it or, you know, next to it. At the same I've time, if you remove the projectile extensions, then you just can't hit anything whatsoever. Projectile extensions should only apply to dynamic objects, not terrain. Ideally, if there was a way to split that. Yeah. Mm, kind of, but... Yeah. Please, or at that. least configurably differently, like so you can have two different shapes, you know, sort of. Yeah. That's a bit weird, but uh, it's yeah, but possible. It, it would allow you to tune these big you know, the sonic discs, as you would call them. So, the, you know, they would clip into the rain less frequently, but still hit their mark. Yeah. Because they're, they're sound. They, they, they clip, having those projectiles, having their, their edges clip into the rain a bit I is mean, fine. Having those as actual projectiles is, like, its own... kind of its own problem. <laughs> yeah, it's just very hard to replace that. The only, uh... Get some money, please, Chopper. Yes. Attack. No, stop spamming. Just no, no. The, 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 this, this map has a nice economy. The only uh, real thing that I, can, the only concern I have with uh, projectile extensions clipping through okay. terrain is because is that would mean that uh, the disruptor would be able to kill people inside a structure while it's killing that structure. <laughs> so you point it at an MCT and you kill anybody trying to repair the building or spawning in the building while you're killing the building. And building is part of the terrain? If I remember yeah, correctly, yeah. 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 Oh god, a box. Uh, like, I, I remember being that placed. would be 100% on board with the idea. Yeah, then again, the, that uh, that exception would also need to go uh, more into into the, everything that everything else that consists the map, which is, you know, trees and small box and everything, everything else. Uh, there should still be collision with those, although, man, that's a difficult thing. Fuck. I just realized how deadly it would be to have a Jumja just sitting in a tree. <laughs> mm. 
nice. Water towers. Yes, I decided that I needed something at the back of the GDI base as a sort of visual landmark. I mean, not as a pyramid in the distance. Mm, I think the water towers work nice. We're back. Actually, there's a small smoothing issue on this one of the sides. Yeah, that's the sauce is now. It's fixable. Yeah, it's fine. The no pyramid doesn't have a light map texture. It's <laughs> giant Westwood though. <laughs> There's also a bunch of floating invisible like uh, rendered boxes inside the pyramid. I have no idea what the plan with that asset how was. How uh... does the riot trooper work? Let's say if he, his, uh, his shield blocks things from the front. Uh, I've just been insta killed by people regardless. I don't know how that works. Did you get shot in the legs. Come to me. Uh, right. with, are you box guy? Who's the box guy right now? Me. Uh, just, just come at me! Don't shoot me, you dick. Just, just quick test. Oh, when you're reloading, it clips like down into your face. Oh, wait, let me see. Reload, yeah. Now I can yeah. totally see you. I can totally shoot you foul in the face right now. I see. Yeah. That's the moment. That, that's uh, your his shotgun moment. feels just aggressively useless. Yeah, it's I don't bad. know. It's, uh, I don't know. I kind of like the shotgun. It's, it's, it takes a lot of damage. You have to be like at spitting distance to do it. Yeah, I think that's. Which is kind of ridiculous. I think, I think one of the things I always thought in the past the spread could just be that bit tighter so you can actually. Yeah. Oh. But, I don't know, I think I'm I'm pretty Wait. good at the shotgun. Can the jump jet land bombs from yes. the air? Yes. <laughs> Fuck off. I just dropped some proximity mines on your head. <laughs> Jesus. Um, is there any way to uh, remove a weapon from your inventory once you've used all the ammo? Mm. I think so. I've seen it happen, but I'm not sure well, how that was set up. Oh, I guess the, the beacons use, the, use that, are they? I'll have to double check. Or maybe I'm thinking, maybe, maybe I'm... Thinking. I think the beacons have certain logic that they don't get refilled, like it's yeah. hard-coded. Yeah, well you, you can you can set a <clears throat> thing to not be refilled. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> what the... What the hell just happened? <laughs> Oh god, if you jump, 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 things. <laughs> I, think I mean, it's, it's so hard to aim. Oh, hey. What could be causing that jump jet jittering on, on network play? Oh my god, I've got like one health. Run! I... I really don't <laughs> know, that's... it's kind of weird. Maybe the... Like... The... It's part of... How... The infantry physics are just broken, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I've been, I mean, the aircraft seem like, I think have some sort of predictor log network stuff or like latency adjustment. I don't know. I mean, the I I can see where the problems come from with uh, the aircraft, but with the jump jet, that's just really weird. Like the physics themselves are super predictable. So I don't see where no, this destroyed. jitter problem is coming from. Mm. It got from mines. It might be something that's like frame rate dependent, where it's gonna be different between uh, client and server, and that's why it jitters so much. Hmm. But I mean, the uh, the aircraft don't have that issue, and it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's completely different physics, so that's yeah. why. Mm. Oh, but I, I have the solution. When you press Q, you turn into an aircraft. Yes. <laughs> See, Superman. that should be a game program, guys. I like Superman. You know what? Can we add for some fucking emissive textures to these fucking mines? Like, I don't see them. I'm clearly blind, but I don't see them in time. Yeah, I think they are a bit small as well. Yeah, the yeah. model, I think, is a bit small. It needs to be a bit meatier. And can we also get rid of these fucking renegade explosions? <laughs> Uh, I know that ICE is working on a completely new, uh, model for these Umagon mines that are closer to, like, real-life Claymores. Can we just get rid of Umagon mines while we're at it? I mean, why does a sniper have mines? Uh, to yeah, protect it doesn't make sense. sense. Yeah, basically to protect yourself. It still doesn't really make sense. It just... 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 Wow, I need a fly catcher for this shit. So basically, when she needs to retreat, she can drop, dump a mine and oh, leg it, and then anyone chasing her can get blown up. Yeah, Emperor, that's exactly what's happening. 
Well, I'll I'll tell you how I use the mines uh, with with Umagon. I found myself like a choke, uh, which is easily campable as a sniper. I place my mines and I snipe from there. If somebody killed me, I would just go again, place more mines and then more, more mines and then more mines and then I'll have my own corner with like 50 mines on it and I'm untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's remove them. 20 minutes remaining. Oh look, here's me with an opinion on balance again. Silly. You are entitled to your opinion, whether it's right or not. <laughs> oh! Oh! We could make it into a special mine, maybe, that just expires. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Fucking bomber The Wigan does have her own claymores already. Oh my god, these mines! <laughs> I think the, uh... I think the claymores only fire in one direction, though. Whereas no, the proxy mines are I in think all directions. I think the Correct claymores still have... I... I think the logic for the claymores is, yeah, they literally just behave like mines, yeah, that's fine. in general. Just that they look like the other direction to them. Oh yeah, first impression is this map is way better than Drought. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell that to Ice. <laughs> ice has, has Ice tried this map? You, know, to see the claymore you, wanna go, you guys want to know something sad? I bet, I, I, I'm not to discredit the developer of Drought, but I bet Drought had more development hours put into it too. I was saying that I imagine drought started in G Max. So. Damn, my hand of Nod under attack. Also, I was just really confused. I, I like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was uploading a video to YouTube, and like I, I was confused because I didn't see progress, but it was already done. Hand of Nod like I, under I have attack. new internet, and it's really good. <laughs> wow, these mines have a lot of health before they blow up. Yeah, the mines in general you can't have too hide much health. Though. And they also don't blow up, they just go away. Yeah, it's because they're kind of just disarmed. I don't know how to fix that. Ah. Um, it would be nice if you if you shot a, a GDI mine and then a GDI player is nearby, then you kill the GDI player with that like mine. Like the demolition yeah. truck. Well, like the mines in APV, basically. I need, I need to see how that's set up. Oh, yeah, that's how IPB works. I forget. I, I don't play that game. You should sometimes. That's yeah. how Mafia works. Oh shit, oh shit, no! I'm a crowy boy. A uh, crowbarry boy. Crowby boy. <laughs> I feel like the score on this map is always leaping slightly into DDI's <laughs> favor. It's because the titans keep attacking. I think it is the titans, shit. yeah. The titans do seem to be able to kill the nut turrets. I really yeah. love how shooting a C4 charge the prints out like that I disarmed it and it yeah. like do does no damage. It's just really silly. I mean I know why but <laughs> Let me disarm these mines. <laughs> nice job, bro. This is How something we gotta out? be worried about, mines. With if, with this object density on maps becoming the standard, then these mines are going to be fucking Hand everywhere all attack. the time. They're terrifying. That may, maybe, if we do attack. make them purchasable, maybe give fewer. Because they're, they're a bit spammy, I feel, at the moment. It currently gives you four. Yeah, I feel like that might just literally be too much. Maybe just yeah, one. Yeah, I imagine like slight game damage that yeah. mine does. People have multiple harvesters, and they just mine the entire base. Like just one guy mining yeah. the entire base all the I time. I was already kind of doing that before, and you can yeah. definitely do that on a small map like this. It's really easy. It's only three entrances. A yeah. uh, should a dead laser turret still have a radar icon? No, I did not touch that, so that was already there. Okay. I was wondering, I mean, do, should dead defenses have radar icons at all? I think so. The heart of Nord is dead. Lord of Heaven will not be pleased. No. The hand of Nord? The hand of Nord? The hand of Nord? Mines also Speaking kind of, of add some to tedium here, so. to the gameplay of those purchasing it because like you're basically just 
Every yeah, time you spawn, you buy some mines, place them. Like it's yeah. it's just a troll you do. Oh, Don't yeah, I'm not really thinking so about it. I'm not completely sure yet about uh, buying weapons. I'm, I'm okay with buying character upgrades. Maybe even like for the duration of the game session and then really expensive as a means to like sink uh, an excessive amount of credits. Oh, like say 5,000 credits for 10 more health and that will just be there until the match restarts. Oh, Stuff like that. Like the IA updates. I, I don't play that game. I have no idea. You need to play the games. I don't play games. Uh, you have to play the games to know no. what, you're, what this is all about. I'm not a game developer. I don't play the games. <laughs> I, don't, I don't play the games I make even. I'm like, this is, guys, this is the first time I played TSR in like three weeks. Tiberium silo. This game's terrible. <laughs> I mean, that's the only to teach even the silo. Yeah, but I feel like uh, GDI has, uh, uh, is farming not at the moment a bit. Uh, oh, see, GDI and Titans are farming us. That looks yes. like the Titans. <laughs> Fuck you, Titan. I, you know what I did? I normalized the, the health and uh, the speed. I probably didn't look at the warhead. The so I'm guessing the Titan does yeah. more damage. Yeah, I think that's probably the that case. That probably is the issue. That's probably why they're slightly ahead every time. Hmm. I'll look into it again. I mean, it's just a... Bit of a game. Spend a uh, day on it. It's, it's just there for shits. Because I've... I kind of want... Like I said before, I just wanted them there to oh, sell the feeling of, oh, this is a vehicle lane, you know? It'd be cool mm. if uh, if mines had, like, a, a, a trigger timer on them. So basically, when you when you trigger them, it goes... And then... Oh, yeah. uh, seemed about she get to check the uh, oh, the infantry death problem. Yeah. One oh. minute remaining. I mean that that oh. type of animation is just very long. That's just yeah. a thing. <coughs> it, sh I, it shouldn't be as bad, but it is still bad. Um, <laughs> we've had anchorage in the rotation yet, have we? Uh, no, we haven't. No. We're not can, playing uh, anchorage. Can someone swap team with me? I'm not at the moment. I would like to test the. Uh, the banshee, no, the uh, the other, the, the, the not banshee, the uh, the yellow one. Yeah, I'm yes. I'm not putting uh, anchorage in the rotation because uh, it uh, I can't swap. Kills the servants. Oh. Oh, because of the uh, problems. Yeah. That's <laughs> Come on, yellow guys, yellow guys, everyone buy the other banshee thing. Ah, uh, should swap. All right. Thanks. Oh, oh, quick, oh quick. should we look at the hand or not? Oh yeah, let's go and do that. Hmm. Okay. Um, do you think no, first off, I gotta the, drop off, the, guys. the concrete platform no, outside? Okay. Right. Should every building yeah, notice how it kind of uh, no, slopes a little, yeah. whereas like the war factories and whatnot have this uh, ninety degree angle? Yeah. Well, not the nod one, but <laughs> <laughs> I may add it. But the uh, the GDI war factory and the uh, I don't know the barracks. I think they have like a ninety degree. I mean, it's not consistent, that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, the construction yard has a 90 degree one. You see the construction yard here, like, it's 90 degrees, it's on an actual platform. You can see uh, the Nod War Factory is flush with the ground, um, and the not Hand of Nod actually has, like, a slope, you know, kind of slopes up yeah, slightly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we should oh. make that consistent. Do you think it should all be 90 degrees? Around the edge, maybe? Um, so, the... Uh... The hand of nod in the concept art has this concrete pad, but in the game it doesn't actually have it. So, I mean, I, I'm I'm quite on board with with uh, with with smoother concrete, but uh, I mean we don't need to keep it if we don't need if we don't want to. Well, I meant as far as the edges, like where it connects yeah, with the, to I, the ground. Yeah, I like it. You but, like the sloped edges versus the ninety degree angle. Yeah, I like, angle. The, I like the sloped edges. Um, So should we do that on every building then? That has a pad. I mean, is this the only building that has the sloped edges? Yes. Yeah. Excuse me, Harvest. Then uh, and we should do the ninety degrees. Hang on, yeah, that was. Like, see, job. see the Nod power plant. Yeah, see yeah. The, the fuck? It has a ninety degree construction yard. Has a ninety degree. The refineries uh, and the Nod war factory. It's flush with the ground. Flush, yeah. And the GDR war factory is ninety night. degrees. Uh, Catch all we're, we're just oh. thinking for consistency. User disconnected from um, the um, so maybe 90 degrees? Yeah, or, or, or flush with the ground. Uh, like ice, ice, ice. Uh, 
think flush with the ground will work because it matches mm. the other buildings then. Well, some Apart of the other from, buildings. Yeah, some of the other buildings. I don't, Not the construction area. Yeah, I, I think for consistency's sake, like because it would just be a load of effort for you guys to change it to make it all curvy. But um, yeah, I think either flush with the ground or ninety degrees. Um, that's probably the best way because then it's consistent at least. Let me write that down. And then now second entrance. Yeah. Um, should uh, put us both on spectator. Got me to put us both? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright, I can't see you because, you know, obviously. Alright, <laughs> I can't see you either. But it means we can go below the terrain and look at right. the panel on. Yeah, Fucking I use it all the time. Money. Yeah. Um, what's your gauge? Hey, Chuppy, can, can we have some money, please? Yeah. What's Keep your, money, please. What's your gauge on the amount of floors that the Hand of Nod has? Everyone has money. Thank uh, you. Amount of floors. I'm not entirely sure, although I'm thinking it has probably maybe one too many floors at this point. Yeah. Um, and it might go a little too deep. Yeah. Like if you see it, like the initial ramp going down doesn't need to be that steep. No, it doesn't. Also, I don't like how there's these two. Uh, like when you first walk in and go down, there's these two 180 so degree turns to get to the yes. PTs. Yeah, yeah, I agree there. And then you go down further. And when I first played with the hand of Nod on Reborn Ever, it was kind of confusing on how to get to the MCT, even though it looks yeah. like a simple building. Yeah, no, I agree. I think the the reason for those rooms might have been easier PT access, so we didn't need to go downstairs. But I'm not sure whether it's necessary anymore. Um, yeah. So I mean, where would where feasibly is a good place to put a door? That's the question. At the entrance. A door. But there's already a door at the entrance. Well, I was thinking just on uh, the exact opposite side, like the back of the, like I don't know how to describe it, where the uh, the laser turret is now. Yeah, I mean. We could do something a bit, a bit like the the door in the back of the refinery, right? I was thinking about that, where we could, Ooh. you know, mostly keep the shape of the back of this, but just have it kind of open when you walk near it. Yeah. But have, but we we should also make it obvious that hey, this is a door. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's see, then, I'm looking uh, at the refinery now. Yeah, I mean, refinery has an obvious roll-up door texture back there, even though it fits the shape of the building. Yeah, I think you you might. You might struggle uh, fitting a door and, and connecting it to the rest of the GDI interior without, but uh, connecting it to the rest of the interior without, you know. Um, it, well, oh boy! I'm trying right. to think about what I'm trying to say, but basically, the, the interior size of the corridor is quite small, and the angles coming in from the back to connect with the rest of the interior might not be appropriate. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the camera it, on the Orca fighter is a bit too close, I think. I mean, the actual, like, way that the rooms are modeled, it would be easy to remodel that. Yeah. Also, uh, the walls the walls aren't even set to 90 degrees. The PXD right now. Like, it's it's tapered slightly as it goes to the back of the building, oh, yeah. even though you... And the before I fixed it this week, like things are rotated like slightly mm -hmm. off. Like the spawn points are rotated three degrees off. The PT objects are rotated slightly weird. Just kind of weird. Yeah. It's just kind of is just a very messy building. Yeah. Um, I also took the MCT. And that used to be like a sharp edge behind the MCT, and I uh, just yesterday made it like flat behind the MCT. Yeah. I think I feel there's never really been enough space around the MCT because of all those beds. Yeah. There's a lot of beds, I, I agree. Get rid of beds? Problem solved? No, we're probably going to change some rooms uh, around. Uh, no, Tiberium uh, 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 injections, so not, no longer needs to sleep. Yeah, I can live with this. They just buy it from the Shrine of Nod. I'm yes. thinking it's, it's not going to be too hard to, re to remodel and texture this again. Oh my god, Vo. Wow, the fucking fighter is just a banshee. Murderer, I would just say. I do like the My way that God. the building looks. It's so good. Could you uh, imagine? Wait, how much health do you have on the? Like how much health does the Orca fighter have? 
A 150, 150. Okay, so it's the same as the Banshee. I, I was think the about Banshee that. probably needs a bit more health because it's higher. I was thinking about that floor in the middle with the beds too. How it yeah. used to slope downwards. And uh, mm -hmm. now it's just like weirdly changing to a different texture and flush. I was thinking I could have it inset again, but put like a catwalk texture on top of it. So it's still flush when you walk on it. But it'd be like visually interesting. Um. Is there something about the Orca Fighters rolling that yeah, is, I mean, makes it roll more often than the Banshee does? Some pretty it's... nice props here. In the Hand of Nod? Yeah, like the little lockers and everything like that. Oh, those are very old. Yeah, they, look, they still look okay though. They're literally boxes. If you look at the <laughs> ones in the GDI uh, barracks, for example, like the actual things oh, are yeah. actually modeled out. Might want to uh, take that and uh, retexture them to upgrade it. Um, in these little suitcases, I, we actually have new personal props that I've been converting from FBX that uh, I plan to put into the Hand of Nod. Like uh, some, some suitcases and whatnot. Well, I guess oh, I'm getting fuck. off. Uh, nice. Guys, yeah. uh, uh, Demon. Shall we have to get rid of these elevators with these moving arms? I keep getting Where? stuck in them. Stuck Where? again now. Where? The refinery this time. It's the, oh. it's also in the in, in the war factory. It's the same elevator. You get stuck. I don't in I don't, them. I don't get stuck on the uh, war factory one because the arm doesn't have collision. I got stuck on it. I had uh, a screenshot. I showed it to you. There, um, was it? How long ago was it? Oh, maybe was two it ago. I don't was, know. Was it? Was it when you? Showed that to me, and then I fixed it afterwards. Let's try doing it again. Basically, yeah. just try doing it now. And see Is there a kill me it. command? Because I don't want to. Yeah, exclamation yes. kill me. GDI base under attack. What if we all play with the GDI War Factory elevator and see if we can get it stuck? Yeah. Twenty minutes remaining. It's very, easy. It's, it's very simple. You just stand not I'm in there the as center a of it. I'm there as a spectator. I just have to unspec. How do I unspec? Uh, Change character? Yeah. Unit ready. I am black. Okay, there TC you go. doesn't work. I'm already stuck, you can see it now. If you were to um, spec. I am spec, let me look. Coming I don't... Unit ready. Can you, are you able to move? No. Wait, I can jump apparently. You can't move left. The or arm right. is still standing there. Right, but it's not. The arm has no collision. Oh, oh yeah, no... I could move now. It's it's a bit sticky. Move. It's less sticky than the refinery as, as, one. As long as you can move. What I did was, uh, you know, I, I mimicked the doors in the APB missile silo elevator for invisible collision doors to do the same thing. Because so, you know you can stop it if you get in the middle, but you don't get stuck on it. What, what this engine doesn't like is animated collision meshes that come at your character box at an angle. Uh, if right, it's like right. a, a these door collision, straight th slamming These collision you, meshes are straight slamming you, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's like you can sort of squeeze your way out right. usually. Unless unless the building and just the animated part is rotated at a non-45 yes. degree. So sort the, the degree nod refinery angle. does not have this collision set up yet, so you will get stuck on yeah, it. Yeah, def de definitely the, uh, the nod refinery sorry, was a refinery. death trap. Enter your refinery. Let, let Sorry, me put that in my to-do. Also, guys, the um, refinery elevator has no sound either. You guys should check I'll out the stream that. right now. I'm like a. I'm like a. Are we still doing that? I'm like a security. Yeah, I'm like a security camera in the uh, wall factory. If you come down the, I'm, I'm watching from the corner of that um, area with the twitch. with the gantries. So if you come back down in the in the elevator wrap, you can walk around it. I'm looking. Be on stream. Uh, so guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, so what are you show? Oh, you're sh showing a guy coming down the elevator. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I'm a surveillance camera. This is this is promotional material. You should just have. To... <laughs> that's hilarious. That should be that should be part of a trailer. Yeah. Like you know, that sets something up so when somebody walks up. Yeah. The thing is, what you can store. do is you can we can now film like people attacking buildings and stuff, and the, and the interior gameplay. From what I understand, you can actually set up a security camera and project it as a texture onto a different mesh. 
So you can actually have screens with we security We don't have, uh, not in this version of the engine, we don't have texture projection oh. working. Okay. It's one of the few things that got stripped from uh, 5.10, whatever. By the way, the, uh, the, the ladder the, on the roof... The problem, of course, is that you have to render an entire second camera. So, it's kind of expensive. I don't know how it works. I mean, it, it's... Mm. Uh, Did you unspec this? Uh, yes. Give me a sec. Anyway, uh, uh what do you the, want me to... the elevator, sorry. What the command ladder on the roof do? is still borked. Just unspec me. Unspec? Is that the command? I think it's just you toggle spec data. Uh... Um, go, so uh, I'm stuck on establishing battlefield control. Uh -huh. Although, that's weird. I'm still running around as a spectator guy, but I'm not flying anymore. Yeah, I think you need to go by change by. character. There you go. Fix. Are, are, are you not using the character variant, or are you using the special variant of the, the spec? special variant? Yeah, I don't think that one works. Like for dropping. Oh, it does. Oh yeah. Okay, so ladder on the GDI War Factory roof. This is the only map it happens on, and I don't know why. Weird. Like you, you can't even go. Like if you try it here versus Anchorage, it's like some invisible box is blocking you. But there's no box there. And it's only on this map because. Are you talking you can't, about uh, stairs? The ladder on the roof. Oh. Oh, if you're streaming, you should do some more flying, I guess. There's no one watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, who watches streams anyways? I know, right? But it's gonna go on uh, YouTube later, so... Ah. Mm, I wanna trim the fat of it, I guess we do a lot of time wasting. Nah, it's just CBA. It's not, it's not anything to kind of... Um, Put time and effort into editing and promoting because I mean it's okay. just like people want to watch it. And then upload it without mentioning it to Fredo. Just be like, yeah. this is nothing. Yeah. What are you looking at? Go away. MP, you're hot miking. What? You're hot miking. That Tyler, shut up. Oh, there we go. I was, I was able to change my team. You're hot miking. Uh, guys, uh, seriously. Oh, yeah. uh, are you guys sure the Orca Fighter has the same exact physics as the Bench? I feel like yes. it flips so much more quickly. Probably because of the scale, because that's based on uh, even if you put the um, uh, even if oh, you put and the I'm warping. settings to exactly the same thing, the rig is going to change your physics. Yeah, because uh, I'm also warping a bit. I'm warping with both. I warp oh. with the Banshee and with the Orca. Yeah. Wow. I've never actually had it with the Banshee. But, uh, I've only had it this testing session. Can we, uh, oh, we, we, I don't know, can, for both the Banshee and Yorka, can we add some tilt to the camera so it aims down a bit more? Right now I feel like I have to aim up too much, Would that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. possibly. I don't know how that's going to interfere with the controls of flying it, obviously, but... I really want to have a cockpit view for the Yorka, but that's a big stretch. Yeah. Oh god, whilst you're flying and you see the MK2 flying, oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> On this tiny carrier! The poor thing. Wait, hold on, it has a hit. Wait, is the, is the carry all set up to take damage? Because if it finds you, would probably kill it. Yeah, see, even the dog agrees. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you could actually blow up the carry all and then anyway. the MK2 would just drop to its death. Have you guys actually fought a bike using hover MRS? Because it's pretty much impossible. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, as in I couldn't quite understand the words. The hover MRS is, has a lot of difficulties fighting like mm. It's difficult to actually lock on. Oh yeah, but lock on in general is a bit uh, bad at the moment. I, I feel like all lock on weapons need a lock on the lock on timer, yes. yes. Yeah, it needs to just be fixed. We can, we can do that. I'll make um, a note. With the Tiberium textures, right? uh, are these the ones that are on the crystals as well? Or just the ones that chop ammo fuses props? 
afraid I don't understand. Uh... Okay, so you see how we have Tiberium in the game? Yes. Yeah, and we have Tiberium Crystals. There is two variants, yes. There's the backdrop proppy ones you see on TL on this, and then the actual okay. ones. So the actual ones we've kept, we've kept right? Yes, of course. Yep. Those were proper, I would say. Yeah, they were made by someone in the industry as well. A guy's called Xenobots. They're actually really good from what I remember. He works with Petroglyph. Yeah, yeah, I thought he worked with Petroglyph. There's just one thing about them at the moment is that they are on the incorrect scale. They got downscaled, but a bit too much. They are 50% downscaled of their original Unit gigantic play. size. and well, I, just, I, I feel like it's too much. I think they're too tiny now, you don't see them. The Tiberium fields look empty. Iron Storm approaching. Yeah, no. I don't like how Tiberium fields look at the moment. Yeah, I don't. Well, we have a lot of, you know, exotic fo foliage, but yeah. we have not yet implemented any of that. What's wrong with it? Is it the texture? No, no, it's the crystal size. It, like, the, the fields look empty at the moment, Iron because the, the crystals are so tiny, you don't see them. Mm. I don't like it either. I think I'm gonna go back to the original gigantic size and rescale them down from there again. Not by 50%, but by, I don't know, 70% maybe? As in, sorry, as in 30% smaller that is? No, not. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, let's that's, that's make them even <laughs> smaller! Numbers are kind of hard, you know? It's not my thing. I don't do numbers, I just have feels. I mean, I would stop right now. We, we understand that it's not your forte. And now you're making it sound like worse on Tiva. <laughs> I'm gonna crash land into this fucking MK2 right now. Oh god, it actually works. <laughs> I can't even see anything. User disconnected from your channel. Ten minutes remaining. I, I, uh, I still think the bomber and the transport should not be as vital. I hope that's not a thought should. people still have. Transport probably should be. Uh, maybe, oh, I don't know really actually. <laughs> this is going to be a guaranteed way to get your team killed, you know? Oh, bad should, pilot, um, we're going to die. I mean, it's really we... got the nickname Flying Coffin. Yeah. Should we <laughs> cut down on the number of defenses here? Uh, no, hold on with that. They, they, they need weaken a tuning them? pass first. Yeah, Proper. the defenses need a pass. Um. They also need the uh, new concrete texture, apparently. Actually, that's the thing. Uh, a lot of the Westwood logo stuff is actually missing concrete textures. Most of them were like just concrete. goddamned awful. Yeah, they were pretty shit. So, if you can get like just like one or two decent concrete textures, we're already capable of replacing most of the Westwood logos. Feel uh, feel sorry for the refinery. Why is that? Is how do you this, like uh, those? Uh, <laughs> feeling very naked right now. All right. How do you like? Yeah. How do you like those huge Tiberium trees, Owen? Yeah. Under attack. Yeah. Sorry, I like didn't one of them squished really well skinny. Because yeah. Those those uh, those dead trees. They they are so bad. <laughs> okay, why? Okay, why? It's going right there. The refinery has a few textures that may need upscaling, by the way. Particularly right, the main you. exterior one. I'm just gonna moonwalk over you if that's alright. That's right. Is there anything else we need testing urgently? Because I should probably just fail. That. Fight's nonsense, actually. Uh, so is there going to be a test next week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The words. Just yeah, gonna give up on speaking yes. now. I think just gonna use sign languages. I fucked and that you. up too. Yeah, you oh, flags. Um, uh, what was I saying? Now oh, parts are hard for me. Next week. Yes, the test next week. Uh, well, I don't really know what I am going to prioritize for this coming week. I have the conyard, but uh, the conyard is just. I think it needs to fuck off and die because I just don't feel like working on it. Um. And I have a feel with Tomb right now. 
I'm working on it and I'm making improvements and stuff, but I'm like, ugh, can this just can we just fuck the map off? If you have that feeling about a map, and I've had that feeling about a map many times, you don't want to know how many maps I created and I was like, nah, oh, you know, dude, I'm feel the it, same. Kill it. I've had the same feeling, but the thing is, I. The premise is there, it's just, and I'm reworking it a lot to how I like it, how, more to how I originally envisioned it, and more how it will play you better. You know how I would rework? I would start over. No, I'm not doing that yet, because I like where I'm going. I, it's just the idea of working on a reborn map. <laughs> it's not the map It like... would help if we had a fucking asset library, so we could get a bit of a better understanding of what we could sort of do with the assets we have. We don't, we just, we haven't gotten to that yet. This is why it's hard to make a map. I struggled, really, making that little test map because I had nothing to put in it. I had no textures, I had no assets ready to go. I actually had to fucking go and rig five assets just for that test map. Yeah, hey, am I the only person who hates this helipad? I spawn in a certain spot where I get stuck and I can't get out. I hate Cheetah both helipads. Helipad. I think we should remove helipads from the game. Um, can we... Right, we need to start. This is a dangerous line that we're going down right now. I really just make it this. come out of the War Factory like Renegade, guys. This is oh, a Renegade man. game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're the removing helipads. We're removing and storms. Uh, snipers. Snipers, yeah, we're terrible <laughs> things. We're mines, get the fuck out. <laughs> but we should remove jump jets because they jitter too much and we can't fix that. So you know, oh, we should probably remove rendering because that, that's pretty bad in this engine, right? Rendering's pretty awful. Let's remove rendering, guys. No, let's it's remove that code as well. Right. Right. Yeah, the yeah. net code is really bad sometimes. So yeah. Uh... I think we're I think we're done with the game, guys. There's nothing more to do now. So we've got to move on. Yes. Where we just want to remove everything. <laughs> it's a minimalist design. Mm, yeah, like a mobile game, basically. Uh, right. So uh, I've got earmarked for the next build. Pilots should die when they crash. Remove iron storms. VTO L mode should be faster. Collision damage should be higher. Helipad uh, refill needs fixing. Five minutes we'll remaining. We'll fix that now, we? Uh, helipad geometry is uh, preventing people from leaving the helipad. You'll be getting feedback tomorrow as well. I'll have to come up with what I'm gonna work on for this week, I don't know, I kind of, like... I'm running a bit out of steam, I would say. I've, I've worked on TSR a lot of hours the past two weeks, honestly. Uh, well, I mean, I don't, I don't feel you need to get anything ready for the next test, like, because at the end of the day, like, a lot of it, a lot of it can be done on our side. Um, yeah, but I, I have a, I have a lot of things I need to work on still, and but I'm but starting to lose a bit there's of. No, there's, no, there's no rush though, so uh, to get it in for next week. Like, so basically, no. What, uh, what, uh, mm. Now that we've got this um, lonely roadmap, we, me and KY can start thinking about things like ranges and all sorts. Of stuff. Four um, minutes remaining. And uh, and also, I think that. I, th I think a lot of the problems with um, bases and attacking bases at the moment comes from the audio mix as well. As uh, the announcer isn't very clear, like stuff like C4 being placed isn't announced or anything like that. It's very tricky. So um, just getting that, getting that all fixed up and put in as well will help. Mm. Yeah, just just get to a voice act for a man and do the whole thing again, easy. Yeah. You're cheap. Well, I've been I've actually been looking into some voice synthesis stuff. Because uh, uh, that technology is actually coming up now, and uh, you might, we might be able to train a robot to talk like a ball. Uh, uh, which could uh, be cool. Then well, we they make... are. It makes sense because uh, they're both AIs. Yeah, for we, us. we can make a ball say whatever we want then. Yeah. By the way, there's something really weird going on with the refinery CDI, or at least with some of the ramps. I'm trying to walk up on them, but the game is just massively rubber banding remaining. me, yeah. like on the edge of it. Oh, that's fair. I have no idea what this is. Well, I think uh, this test is about done, guys. So thanks for coming. It's got our work cut out. For sure.